Welcome to History Uncovered, where we delve into the stories and events that have shaped our world. If you're a fan of history and love learning about the people and events that have shaped our world, then be sure to hit that subscribe button below. We release new videos every day so you'll always have something new to discover. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when our latest episodes are released, and you'll be supporting us in our mission to bring fascinating stories from the past to a wider audience. If you have ideas of what we should make a video about next, let us know in the comment section. In this episode, we will be talking about Hammurabi, one of the most influential kings in ancient Mesopotamia. Hammurabi is best known for his law code, which is considered one of the most important legal documents in human history. But there is much more to Hammurabi than just his laws. So, let's dive in and discover the man behind the code. Hammurabi was born in 1810 BCE in the city of Babylon, which is located in modern-day Iraq. He was born into a royal family, and his father was the king of Babylon at the time. Hammurabi's early life is shrouded in mystery, but we do know that he rose to power in the early 18th century BCE, when he became the king of Babylon. One of Hammurabi's early accomplishments was the consolidation of power in Babylon. He defeated several neighboring cities and kingdoms, including Mari and Ishnana, and made Babylon the dominant power in Mesopotamia. Hammurabi also established a strong bureaucracy and implemented administrative reforms that helped him govern more efficiently. Hammurabi's most famous achievement was his law code, which is often referred to as the Code of Hammurabi. The code consists of 282 laws that cover a wide range of topics, including theft, property rights, marriage and divorce, and punishments for crimes. The code was inscribed on a steel, a large stone pillar, and placed in a public location in Babylon so that everyone could read it. The code is notable for its emphasis on justice and fairness. Hammurabi believed that the law should be impartial and apply equally to all people, regardless of social status. He also believed that the punishment for a crime should be proportionate to the severity of the offense. For example, the famous phrase an eye for an eye comes from the code and refers to the principle of proportional punishment. The law code was a major achievement for Hammurabi and had a lasting impact on the development of law and justice in human history. Many of the principles and concepts in Hammurabi's code are still relevant today, and some modern legal systems have been influenced by it. However, Hammurabi's law code did not arise out of nothing. In fact, it was built on the legal traditions that had been developed by previous rulers in Mesopotamia, such as Uarnamu of Uar and Lipitishtar of Isin. These earlier codes focused on property rights, but also dealt with other legal matters such as marriage and inheritance. Hammurabi's code took these earlier codes as a starting point and expanded their scope, making his code one of the most comprehensive legal documents of its time. In addition to his law code, Hammurabi accomplished many other things during his reign. He was a great builder and commissioned many construction projects throughout Babylon, including temples, fortifications, and irrigation systems. He also established a system of canals and dams that improved agriculture in the region and helped make Babylon one of the wealthiest cities in the ancient world. Hammurabi was also a patron of the arts and sciences. He founded several libraries and schools in Babylon and encouraged the study of astronomy, mathematics, and literature. He also commissioned many works of art, including statues and reliefs that celebrated his achievements and glorified Babylon. The conquest of Mari was a pivotal moment in Hammurabi's reign and played a significant role in the expansion of his empire. Mari was an important city-state located along the Euphrates River, and it was a major trade center during the early 2nd millennium BCE. The conquest of Mari was a strategic move that helped to increase Hammurabi's power and influence in the region. Historical records suggest that Hammurabi's army marched on Mari and was able to conquer the city, despite the fact that it was well fortified and defended by a strong army. The conquest was likely a complex military campaign that involved siege warfare, battle tactics, and negotiations with the city's leaders. According to the ancient Mesopotamian text known as the Mari Eponyms, Hammurabi's army may have used battering rams and siege towers to breach the city's walls and gain entry. 
Once inside the city, the Babylonian army would have had to fight their way through the streets and buildings, facing fierce resistance from the defenders. Despite the challenges, Hammurabi's army was ultimately successful in conquering Mari. This victory gave Hammurabi access to valuable resources, such as trade routes and agricultural land, which helped to fuel the growth and prosperity of his empire. It also solidified his reputation as a skilled military leader and allowed him to expand his territory and influence even further. The conquest of Mari was just one of many military campaigns that Hammurabi undertook during his reign. However, it was a particularly significant victory that helped to establish his power and set the stage for his future conquests. The city of Mari remained an important part of Hammurabi's empire for many years, and its capture was a turning point in the history of the ancient Near East. The war against the Elamites was another significant military campaign of Hammurabi's reign. The Elamites were a people who lived in the highlands of what is now Iran and were known for their military strength and fierce resistance. Hammurabi's campaign against the Elamites was likely a complex and challenging undertaking that involved long marches through difficult terrain, battles against skilled and determined opponents, and negotiations with other powers in the region. According to historical records, Hammurabi launched his campaign against the Elamites in order to expand his empire and increase his control over important trade routes and resources. The war was waged over several years and involved multiple battles and skirmishes. Despite the challenges, Hammurabi's army was ultimately successful in defeating the Elamites and bringing their territory under Babylonian control. The war against the Elamites was a significant achievement for Hammurabi, as it helped to solidify his power and establish his empire as a dominant force in the region. It also gave him access to important resources, such as metals and timber, which were valuable for trade and military purposes. The war had lasting impacts on the region, as it helped to redraw the political and military map of the ancient Near East and set the stage for future conflicts and alliances. Hammurabi's legacy is still felt today. His law code was a major contribution to the development of law and justice in human history, and his accomplishments as a builder and patron of the arts helped make Babylon one of the most important cultural centers of the ancient world. However, Hammurabi's reign was not without its challenges. He faced numerous rebellions and uprisings during his time as king, and he had to constantly fight to maintain his power. Despite these challenges, Hammurabi left behind a legacy that has lasted for thousands of years. His law code, in particular, is a testament to his commitment to justice and fairness. It has inspired countless legal systems throughout history and continues to be studied and admired today. In conclusion, Hammurabi was a remarkable leader who achieved great things during his reign. His law code, in particular, is a testament to his vision of a just and fair society. We can learn a lot from his example, and his legacy will continue to influence the course of human history for generations to come. Thank you for watching this episode of History Uncovered. If you found this video informative and engaging, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the past. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video.